This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. The family of a woman run over and killed on I-95 is searching for answers as we learn more about how she died. An attorney representing the family of Jennifer St. Clair says she was riding on the back of a motorcycle when a man she was on a date with and she fell off. This morning, they're asking for that man to come forward. Miami Gardens police need your help finding a car involved in a fatal hit and run. They say a dark colored Dodge Challenger like this one struck and killed a person near Northwest 159th Street and 37th Place early Saturday morning. Police say the car has extensive front end damage. If you have any information, you're asked to call police. Also, firefighters responded to a house fire in Miami Gardens. Miami Dade Fire Rescue says no one was hurt in that fire at a home on Northwest 37th Court. So far, no word on what sparked that fire. Now to a CBS 4 News safety alert. A man who allegedly stalked a mother and her three young daughters for three months has been arrested. Police say 57-year-old Carlos Nieto lurked around Little Haiti, harassing the woman and her children multiple times in his white SUV. He is facing four counts of aggravated stalking and is being held on a $20,000 bond. Now, CBS 4 weather. Good morning, windy out there again today, but that breeze is becoming warmer here this afternoon. Uh, still east to northeast, 15 knots, so small craft advisory. Still in effect, five to eight foot seas here throughout the afternoon and evening. A few showers are staying off the coast. We had a northwest breeze this morning. That kept us cool. It turns to the east and eventually the southeast. Over the next few days, that brings in the warmer air, puts a chance of showers in the forecast Thursday. Better chance of rain on Friday with this area of low pressure, which will track to the north. Bring Bringing up warmer temperatures and bringing up more moisture here throughout the day Friday and early Saturday. 73 today, that uh, it's a warmer afternoon, and that warmer afternoon leads to a milder night overnight. Uh, the temperature east and with that east to northeast wind 15 to 20 miles an hour, staying in the 60s Thursday morning, it's near 70 Friday morning. Storms moving through the area Friday afternoon with high above 80 degrees. 78 Saturday, that's a cooler breeze developing Saturday night. So cooler temperatures in the morning, pleasant sunshine each afternoon. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Dave, thanks, and that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com. Tune in to CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.